Um, there's an interesting thing there. I, I guess the team liked to play with me. Apparently, by subjecting the relationship to rigorous statistical tests, we find that a positive link between capability reviews and engagement remains robust. And R squared apparently equals 0.4628. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you heard it here first. <laughs> Tell your friends. OK. Now, just on to some of the support uh, that we give. As I say, a, a relatively uh, small team uh, working across those, uh, that huge uh, enterprise, much of which, as we're saying, the sort of responsibility for this has to lie at a departmental level. But we do, um, we do try and support them. So there's various sort of uh, functions we can do. One is that we uh, try and share best practice. We, you know, when we see things across the civil service, we share them. We've given some fact sheets and some advice to departments. We've worked with them on how they present their material. And um, you can see the kind of material there, the Department of Transport, the engagement handbook. You can see the sort of you know, products that departments are starting uh, to produce. Um, one of the things we have tried to help departments with is an approach to action planning. And again, I mean, this is just very uh, simple stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm sure it's familiar to all, but it's just the kind of advice we, we give to departments. You know, if you are going to look at your engagement survey and you're going to take action, it's very important that you involve staff. So we say involve all staff. Try very much to focus on what you are going to do uh, rather than dwelling on the negative. We try to encourage people to be positive, to encourage innovation and new, and new ideas. Try and make your actions smart. Um, try and clarify who's actually responsible for each action so it doesn't get lost. And you will all know the importance in these things of good uh, communication and follow-up and share and, and, and borrow and steal <laughs> shamelessly from other people. Now, I look down that list and say, you know, how do I score on that, you know, be, being responsible for taking forward some of the issues in our own areas of the Cabinet Office. And again, it's to say, I, I just look at this and I say, I know I should do this and I know it's not difficult. But I find this tough, and I think that's you know my my overriding message is the cultural change which is needed to make some of these things happen. Some of these things happen. Um, we we give them a, a one-hour action planning event. Again, I I just won't go through this. It's just as I say, it's the kind of thing that we can do to sort of stimulate departments to take uh, this forward. And this is just one approach. There so will be many others. But if people are sort of wondering, well, okay, I've got this survey and it tells me some things I'd rather not. I rather wish it didn't. What, how can I take them forward? So it's just a, an easy approach uh, from us. Now, I mean, what, what do we think we've achieved? Now, as I said at the beginning, I, mean, I think we're saying that we think where we've got to has been largely a transactional um, approach. So um, we have had the survey. We will repeat the survey in October this year. So we, we'll, we, we are beginning to identify a series um, of results which will be very interesting. Um, we know that departments are out there action planning. Um, we are able to hold them to account to a certain extent for their action plans through the other sort of accountability <coughs> frameworks that we, we have. We are able to give them some better, uh, you know, the, 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 there are some better metrics around now. There are some better benchmarks. There are some better ideas about who in the civil service is doing well as opposed to who's not doing well. Why is it they're doing well? How can we learn from that? And of course, now we can also benchmark ourselves against <clears throat> other organizations. And, you know, research in this area is constantly uh, growing, as we know. 2010-11, um, I mean, I think that's going to be a big challenge for us, um, as uh, Nita said, and as we all know, we are you know, p potentially facing, uh, you know, depending on which newspaper you read, uh, you know, potentially significant cuts in the civil service. And s where they will be and to whom they might affect is not quite clear. I mean, I think it was a manifesto commitment, or certainly talked about by the Conservative government, not necessarily the coalition, prior to the election that they were looking to reduce Whitehall by a third. And, and I remember we have a, a, every other Monday in the Cabinet Office, we have a senior leaders meeting. And I remember the Cabinet Office Secretary saying, look, if you don't understand what one in a third means, it, it, it's, you know, one, only one in, three, one in three of you is going to lose their jobs. And he went around the room and he said, so that means you stay, you stay, you go, you stay, you stay, you go. And I thought, I'm going to be careful where I sit next week. <laughs> 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 um, 
So, I mean, I, I mean, but there is a reality there, and that's a, a, a significant challenge, and no signal that's the end of my uh, 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 presentation. Um, we're very interested to learn from other people. We're very interested to know what other people are doing so that we can enhance what we're doing for the civil service. We're very keen to pursue this agenda. I think we've got a leadership cadre which are bought into this agenda. But just like everyone else, we're struggling sometimes to know how to turn good ideas into good practice. Thanks for your time. Thank you.